Eclipses are truly interesting times because they bring out the best and the worst in you. Most of the times we try not to share all our thoughts. We try not to talk about everything that we are thinking about, everything that we are feeling. Every hurt, every resentment, every goal that we could not fulfill, every achievement, every dream that we have. The eclipses make sure that they come out on the surface. Now, starting uh, the second half of 2025, all the way till the end of 2026, we'll be seeing eclipses. And those will be in the signs of Aquarius and Leo. And these are really interesting eclipses because they will tell us all about the things that we probably forgot for a very long time. Things that we did not want to talk about. Every time we tried to be the big person. Every time we took our hurt like a champion and never shed a tear. Every time we didn't break a sweat while working hard for people without a little thanks in return. All those times where you're trying to be that big person, you'll remember them all this time. And this time you'll be really pissed off because now you want to be thanked. Now you want people to acknowledge you. Now you want them to recognize you and your efforts and you want them to have some gratitude. And this is going to happen especially if you're a woman. You will be all over the place. Your emotions will be all over the place. And you will be like, oh, I did this. Why didn't you do this in return? Oh, I just did that for you. Why did you never acknowledge me? Why did you never say yes? There are so many things that I kept on enduring for your sake. And you did not even turn back and say a simple thank you. So all these things are going to come on the surface. And you're going to believe, oh my God, is this me? Am I being the bad person now? Am I somebody who counts all the favors I do for people? Am I that bad of a person? But this is just how it is. Whenever you have relationships, no matter who it is with, it could be your own mother, it could be your own children. I mean, those relationships are a little bit more selfless, but only a little bit more selfless. Most relationships work on a give and take model, right? So even your mother won't love you if you are a monster. If you have a disastrous temperament, if you are very hard to take care of, if you are very hard to love because you are that difficult, even your mother will start disliking you. Even your mother will feel like you are a burden to her. And we are not even talking about any sort of issues. No, we are not talking about medical issues. We are not talking about the looks. We are talking about temperament. So anybody could start disliking you. Anybody could start hating you. So remember, in every relationship, it's very important to be on equivalent terms. Not exactly equal, but equivalent. I'm doing this, you do that. Okay, fine. We have our responsibilities. We take care of them and that's that. So there should be some sort of equality, like 60, 40, 55, 45, 51, 49. There can never be a 50-50. That's sort of impossible, but there could be some progress, right? In the amount of love you give each other. But oftentimes in relationships, we end up doing a lot more for others than people do for us. And we really get hurt because of that. And there are a few signs who are getting sick and tired of this. Number one, Gemini. Number two, it is uh, Virgo. Number three, Libra. Number four, Aquarius. All these signs are getting sick and tired of doing things for people. All these signs are getting sick and tired by working for people and not for themselves. And obviously, this is not good for them. Because the more resentment they have built up, the more they are going to you know, vomit it out on people. And of course, it's going to be venomous. Of course, it's going to be acidic. It's not always a good thing to do, right? So I expect that when this lunar eclipse happens, people are going to speak out a lot more about things going on in their mind. And they may not really hold back. They may talk about anything and everything. And at this time, you may even have to remember even the smallest details, you know. Uh, let's say you were not served the exact same amount of pasta as your sibling and you remember that and now you're like oh you know it was a very traumatizing experience and it could have been of course but in the larger scheme of things it is definitely a very small event so you're going to remember events as small as that you're, you're going to uh, you know really replay them in your mind it's going to have a very strong impact on you then the second thing we'll notice is that on the world scale more countries uh, would like to go their own way and three countries that would love to do that is India, China, and Russia. All these three countries now want to do whatever the hell they want to do. 
and they are now trying to dominate the world they are now trying to tell the world that hey listen we exist and we have a very strong presence and we have a huge demographic dividend you cannot keep ignoring us you cannot keep bullying us and you cannot keep calling us the wrong guy or the bad guy or the small guy sorry we are not interested sorry we don't believe in your hegemony sorry we don't believe in your dominance we'll do whatever we want to do so you'll see that in foreign policy as well keep watching out for that especially the developments in the next 6 months you'll notice how this thing is happening however the leaders of all these countries are people who are extremely popular let's say like they have the majority uh, they have a lot of support but that support is somehow dwindling and the reason behind that is economy the domestic economy so right now all these three countries have to put a huge fiscal stimulus into their respective economies for it to work out if that does not happen people are going to be really resentful and their popularity may definitely you know get hurt and then they will not be very happy with it because their ambitions and their dreams may not really get fulfilled uh, to the extent that they are looking for so but yes they will be doing a lot and they will be doing some sort of you know flexing on the world stage and they would want to tell the other nations that listen there are more powerful countries and you can align with them you can associate with them and remember they might try to do this in a fiscal way i don't really understand like foreign policy that much i'm not an expert but here is what i know um i think that they are going to work a lot more on their currencies and they might want to move away from the dollar as much as possible they don't really want the dollar anymore because working with the dollar um actually helps them participate in the us hegemony and they don't want that anymore so i don't know let's let's see how it plays out what what they are planning god knows uh what they're up to god knows but they are definitely looking for some sort of fiscal advantage at the world stage and they would also want to pump some money some sort of fiscal stimulus into the domestic economies as well so all these things are happening at the same time um i mean <laughs> whatever happens happens right i hope they all are good and i hope there are no monopolies because nobody likes monopolies right now with the lunar eclipse there is another thing that may happen and that has to do with monopolies now you will see a lot more government regulations um and a lot more anti monopoly stuff going on um again i'm not very well versed with the whole idea of what people are doing um but i think a lot more people and a lot of government authorities maybe a few lawmakers may try to uh, rally against monopolies especially against trillion dollar companies and they might cite excessive power excessive money um excessive um what should i say responsibility on the shoulders of one man or a few men or women that might happen so let's see how that plays out as well what i honestly believe is countries like india pakistan bangladesh china russia the entirety of central asia they definitely are planning something something is going on in asia and we must better watch out for that the western world is completely unaware they are completely unaware but there is definitely a lot of things cooking up here the countries are definitely planning something especially the three large economies uh, large nations um they are definitely planning something and they definitely want to take a bigger piece of the pie on the world stage they want to be more available they want to be more visible and they are definitely looking to flex their muscles so as i said let's watch out for what happens um i hope interesting times are ahead and i just hope that this eclipse brings out good opportunities for us i have discussed those opportunities actually uh for instance if you are a scorpio it's a great time for you if you are a cancerian it's a great time for you you can change your life 180 degrees it will work out um aries will have to get out of the comfort zone taurus will have a great time taurus will be able to create a good impression on people gemini is will have more spiritual influences pisces will have a lot more spiritual influences leos are going to perform very well in foreign lands or uh, if they are working with foreign companies anything that is foreign they're going to do well there 
uh, Libras are definitely going to start new hobbies and change their whole lifestyle. Sagittarians are going to come face to face with their own issues, with their own troubles. Uh, apart from that, Capricorns will finally realize that they are not alone. And Aquarians, since the eclipse is happening in their Rashi, in their sign, in their nakshatra, these people are going to be all about themselves. Right now, an Aquarius is the most self-centered person you will find because they are too busy making grand plans for their life. And if they are able to break those grand plans down into smaller, more achievable targets, I'm pretty sure that they will do very, very well. So they are going to be all engrossed in themselves. They will not like a lot of people interfering with their life or interfering with their work. They'll start hating anybody who interferes. So all those things are going to happen. Uh, but as usual, we expect good things only. And if, if anything uncomfortable happens, may we be given the power to get rid of it or to sail through it. That's it. Um, if I have something more interesting to say, if I remember something, though I've made a lot of videos on Bhagishi holistic astrology in Hindi, um, still if I have something important going up in my head, I will definitely come and discuss that. So you guys have fun, do well, and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's not bad. And eclipse again, is, is very normal, happens four times a year. Nothing too scary. Don't worry about it. But of course, be mindful, right? That's the essence of holistic astrology. So take care. Bye-bye.